So the next question is first question B part with hysteresis characteristics explain the working of Smitriga circuit okay and in the bracket it is given as inverting mode. So inverting mode means the input will be applied across your inverting terminal. So this will be your circuit of your uh, Smitriga. It is also called as a regenerative comparator right. So here you have a positive feedback. What is a portion of the output is fed back to the input. Okay. So it's also called as regenerative comparator. The input voltage triggers the output voltage every time it exceeds certain voltage level. So how what is the working principle of this Smith trigger? Your portion of the output is fed back to the input of your non-inverting terminal that's why it is called as positive feedback okay now you have to first uh, condition is you have to find out what is the voltage across your non-inverting terminal that is the voltage across r2 so if you want to find out the voltage across your r2 you have to apply voltage division rule right so what is voltage division rule so i can write that v1 is equal to the resistance across which you have to find out the voltage so r2 divided by total number of resistor r1 into r2 into your source voltage so in this case the source is nothing but v0 right v0 is the voltage which is coming to uh, towards your non-inverting terminal so the source voltage is v0 so that's why you are getting v1 is equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into v0 this is as per your voltage division rule okay voltage division rule so now you have your v1 voltage and you have your voltage v in now it will compare both the voltage so that's why it is called as regenerative compare comparator it compares both the voltage so due to virtual ground the same voltage v1 here also you will be having the same v2 also will have the same uh, voltage v1 right so now what will happen when the input voltage is greater than uh, v1 what will happen when input voltage is greater it will act as an inverting terminal right so the output will switch to minus v set so uh, whereas in the case of uh, when v in is less than that of v1 now v1 is greater so you have your non-inverting terminal uh, to be greater so your output will switch to plus v set so all this working principle is there in the uh, uh, playlist in detail okay so only two cases you have <coughs> the output will switch from plus v sat to minus v sat so this is called as dual threshold or this uh, uh, characteristic is called as hysteresis characteristics where your <coughs> output will be switching towards your two different values okay dual threshold value so you can tell that it possess memory and it can be acting as a it will act as a bistable multivibrator or a latch or a flip-flop okay so this is your specialty of your hysteresis uh, characteristics of your smith trigger so let so here this gives you the input and the output this is your output signal okay so input sinusoidal signal will be given right this is your input sinusoidal signal so you will be having two threshold point one is your upper threshold value and the other one is your lower threshold value so what will be your upper threshold value so upper threshold value in this case it will be equal to your you are assuming that your output will be in plus v sat so upper threshold value will be equal to r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into v sat whereas in the case of lower threshold uh, value what will be your your output will be in minus v sat right so your v1 into your so what will be your value r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into v0 in the case of instead of v0 you are going to substitute minus v sat so that's why you are getting these two formulas so your v hysteresis is equal to v u t minus your v l t so this is your uh, um, diagram of your input and output see here whenever your input voltage is attaining your lower uh, upper threshold value your circuit output will switch from plus v sat to minus v sat when it when your input reaches your lower threshold value your output will switch from negative v sat to plus v sat so this so this is acting as a comparator which compares always it, it uh, compares both the threshold value so it is uh, it can act as a oscillator also okay so when you plot the graph between your v in and v out input voltage with respect to that of your v out you can get your hysteresis graph correctly okay so this will be your v u t upper threshold voltage and this will be your v lower threshold voltage so suppose for example if i take this as 4 volt and 2 volt see here during the upper threshold how will your your 
uh, circuit will switch from your output will switch from plus V set to minus V set. That's why you have the arrow mark down. Similarly, when it reaches your lower threshold value, what will happen? The output will switch from minus V set to plus V set. So this is a continuous procedure. So this is called as your hysteresis characteristic. So V hysteresis will be equal to V U T upper threshold minus your lower threshold voltage. So when you uh, here minus of minus will become plus right so what will be your v hysteresis is 2 into r2 divided by r1 plus r2 into v set so this can be taken as beta so v hysteresis is equal to 2 beta into v set so this much you can write it elaborately for your question